The job of being a firefighter can already be a dangerous one. Well, now a new study shows that firefighters could have a higher risk of prostate cancer. 12 News journalist Colleen Sakura explains why and what can be done to protect them. While well, working to protect the community. It's really important that we figure out ways uh, to help them keep themselves safe. Firefighters putting themselves at risk. Firefighters have increased risk of cancer from their job. Dr. Jeff Burgess with the University of Arizona behind a new study looking at firefighters increased risk of prostate cancer. Finding their DNA related to that cancer risk is changing. Are affected by years of firefighting but also by particular chemical exposures, in this case one of the forever chemicals. Forever chemicals or PFOS chemicals are found in firefighting foam and even their gear. It, it would suggest that we really need to focus on reducing their exposure to this one forever chemical in any way that we can. There's not a firefighter on the job right now that doesn't know somebody that either has cancer or has died from cancer. Scottsdale Fire Assistant Chief Eric Valliere says he's seen changes over his 33 years as part of the fire service. In the old days, it used to be a, 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 a pride thing to walk around with dirty turnouts and a dirty helmet. We're realizing now that that, that doesn't prove anything, right? And going home and having a healthy, not only a healthy career, but a healthy life outside of the fire service is the most important thing. Valier says Scottsdale is doing things to reduce PFOS exposures, like using cleaned turnouts, keeping things that off-gas separate from living quarters, and washing turnouts before disconnecting from air supply, among other steps. We're going to get exposed to things in this job. That's just the profession we've chosen, right? But everything we can do to reduce those risks is really what we're at. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.